Back to the Future 2 A 1989 science fiction film depicted people in 2015 using neon hoverboards and flying cars for transportation. While 2015 has passed and we are still a long way from piloting to work, we are rapidly approaching an electrified future. So where does the present EV market stand? Will there be flying electric cars? Is it possible that fully electric semi-trucks, cars and motorcycles will be available in the future? If you love technology just like us and are passionate about EVs, then congratulations, you've clicked the right video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Voltage. We are here to acknowledge you with all the latest high voltage car updates and their features from top to bottom, and also give you a brief analogy of them. So hurry up and subscribe to the channel and smash the notification bell to not miss any of our updates. With that being stated, let's jump into the business. There are an estimated 1.4 billion cars on the road worldwide, with approximately 5.1 million of them being electric vehicles. EV manufacturers are some of the most innovative companies in the global economy, despite the fact that only one-third of all consumer vehicles use EV technology. The next generation of EVs has the potential to transform the transportation industry. The first mention of electric vehicles appeared in the early 1820s, when horse-drawn carriages were common and the world was looking for alternatives to animal-powered vehicles. By the turn of the century, electric cars were extremely popular among wealthy socialites and businessmen. In fact, early EVs accounted for nearly one-third of all vehicles on the road. The Fritschler electric vehicle, which was the pinnacle of luxury in 1912, had a range of more than 100 miles on a single charge. It wasn't until the mass production of the gasoline-powered Ford Model T that electric vehicles were pushed aside in favor of more cost-effective internal combustion engine vehicles. By the early 1930s, almost no electric vehicles remained on the road. EV technology stalled until the early 1970s, when gasoline prices reached all-time highs and top automakers began to investigate alternative energy sources. However, the high cost of EVs, their limited range, and a lack of charging infrastructure limited consumer interest. New regulations and incentives in the United States made the prospect of hybrids and electric vehicles more appealing by the early 1990s. The first modern EV models, such as the GM EV1, began to appear on the American roads in the early 21st century. Vehicles such as the GM EV1, Nissan Leaf, and the ubiquitous Toyota Prius paved the way for an increase in EVs. Tesla Motors Incorporated was founded in 2003 by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening in Silicon Valley. Tesla's mission was to build luxury sports cars powered by fully electric motors, and they were among the first companies to prioritize EV production over IC EV production. Tesla revolutionized the electric vehicle market within a decade of its inception. Tesla Motors, now known as Tesla Incorporated, controls 60% of the EV market. Tesla became the poster child for high-end electric vehicle technology, making EVs popular among luxury and performance vehicle enthusiasts. Other top luxury automakers, such as BMW and Porsche, developed their own fully electric vehicles in order to compete as soon as possible. As of 2019, Tesla's estimated market share in total automotive sales in the United States was only 1.5%. There is still a lot of room for EV growth ahead of us. Battery technology, the electronic systems that keep EVs running and safe, and the efficiency of electric motors were all limiting factors that worked against EV production in the 20th century. Continuous advancements in each of these technologies, such as the invention of lithium-ion batteries in the 1980s, paved the way for a significant increase in EV manufacturing and consumer adoption. The number of charging stations available is increasing. New materials, such as silicon carbide, have enabled the revolutions in legacy silicon technologies, promising even more for optimizing EV efficiency and power utilization. Other technological advancements, such as high-voltage current protection, signal isolation, and battery management technologies, drive EV performance indefinitely. New electric vehicles are expected to enter the market, building on the innovations of Tesla and other well-known EV manufacturers such as BYD, BAIC, Nissan, BMW, and Volkswagen legislative advances in Europe. Rising demand in Asia and increased awareness of the environmental impacts of fossil fuels will all contribute to the continued growth of EV technology. Here are a few industries to keep an eye on for EV innovation. Consumer vehicles aren't the only ones that are going electric. Formula One, the pinnacle of automobile racing, has announced a historic shift toward full electric motor technology. It was only a matter of time before EV technology found a home in an industry where torque and efficiency are paramount. 
Historic motorcycle manufacturers such as Harley-Davidson and Ducati are already planning a transition to electric motorcycles, hoping to capitalize on performance advantages and reduced carbon footprint. Zero, the motorcycle equivalent of Tesla, is quickly establishing itself as a top motorcycle manufacturer. The long-awaited electric semi-truck feels closer than ever. Companies such as Nikola, Rivian, Tesla, Daimler, and Volvo will transform the road transportation industry. The electric semi-truck industry is the latest testing ground for technology aimed at increasing EV range, and each of those companies is attempting to crack the code. Seafarers are overjoyed at the prospect of a boat that will never need to dock for fuel. Electric boats may soon be available at a marina near you, allowing boaters to navigate the world's vast waters using only wind, solar and electric motors, while electric planes appear to be the last frontier for electric vehicles. One challenge that EV charging infrastructure developers face is that production volume is still limited. The market is highly fragmented, making it difficult for a single EV charging hardware supplier to reach critical mass while maintaining competitive material costs and a sophisticated manufacturing solution that strikes the right balance of flexibility and automation. The right service partner can help, especially by improving time to market through collaboration in design and engineering, and by implementing cost-competitive and scalable solutions based on solid manufacturing expert knowledge. But unfortunately, many players are hesitant to outsource in this still emerging market. When we think about the future, we can't help but consider the effects of the pandemic. The transition from combustion engines to EV is a long-term process that will be unaffected by the pandemic. In fact, global sales of electric vehicles increased by 43% to more than 3 million in 2020, despite overall car sales falling by a fifth during the pandemic. COVID-19, on the other hand, has altered the way people live and work. As a result, it will change the way we drive. According to Statista, prior to the pandemic, 17% of US employees worked from home five days or more per week. This increased to 44% during the pandemic. Similarly, prior to the pandemic, only about 10% of EU employees worked from home. This increased to about 50%. The COVID-19 outbreak accelerated the remote working trend, as quarantines and lockdowns made commuting and working in an office nearly impossible for millions of people worldwide. Working from home provided a solution with employees performing their roles away from the office and supported by specialized technology, eliminating the need for employees to commute to an office in order to stay connected with colleagues and clients. Although office buildings and workspaces are reopening as vaccinations become more widely available, the fact that many people have been working remotely for a year will likely affect where they need to charge their vehicles. If they charge at home, where they have 10 hours overnight to recharge the car, a small AC charger is adequate. Contrary to the vision cast by 1980s science fiction, we are not and will not be flying around in airplane-car hybrids anytime soon. However, the car of the future is rapidly approaching, and the EV charging industry is at the forefront of this transition. Electricity will soon power everything from our daily commute to family road trips to grocery store runs. However, as we prepare for a battery-powered future, businesses must consider how to charge the vehicles that will power our world. Still watching? We knew you'd love our video. Well, we'd be even happier if you could just hit that like button. Coming back to the scenario, what do we think about the future of EVs? New electric vehicles are more powerful, less expensive, safer, and more dependable. EV technology is being pursued by nearly every automobile manufacturer in the world, and many other sectors are trying to find ways to adopt the science for their own product lines. The modern electric vehicles era has only just begun. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, we'd like to have your opinion about EVs. Are you bullish about the EV industry? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.